Okay, um, okay, so let's uh, try and give you a little bit more insight about the Fourpass apps that we've uh, made available. So if I go to my phone now and I go to internal storage and I go to downloads, um, I've got the, the new Fourpass scan app there. Um, I've uninstalled the previous one, so I'm going to just install from scratch. Uh, the install takes a couple of seconds. Uh, Google Play Protect will come up with this little message. Uh, we will add uh, the apps to Google Play and uh, Apple Play and all the other play options as soon as possible. Unfortunately, it's quite a process. It's not just simply copying it and pasting it on their websites. Um, as you can see, it's installing now. The app is installed. I can click on open. I need to allow, obviously, that it must be able to use uh, locations and so forth as well. Uh, location is important, especially on the latest or newer phones. Um, and the reason for that is that the Bluetooth devices uh, requires uh, the location to be set properly. So for now, it's asking me for the voucher number. I will find my um, voucher number in my back office. So maybe let's just stop at this point. Um, so it's critical to understand that the app cannot work on its own. It's not a, a four-pass system. It's not a four-pass system on an app or on a Android or Apple device. It's a four-pass Android or iOS or Apple app that runs consecutively or concurrently or in uh, or runs together with the Fourpass desktop version. In other words, uh, the app is just an extension of the Fourpass version. It's not a replacement, okay? So yes, you can set it up, uh, arguments like on your laptop anywhere, okay? And then create all your products and stuff on there and then upload to the cloud, download on the app and then use the app in the store uh, without a Fourpass system uh, in the same location. Also important that while you're busy setting it up like I am now, that you have internet available on uh, the app so that it can verify all the data, it can download all the files, etc, etc. Um, this is my voucher number. You're welcome to try it if you just want to play around with it um, just to get more functionality of it. Obviously, this one will have all data. It's all testing information, but it will allow you to be able to carry on working. So if I enter my voucher number, I click on submit, it will check the voucher number um, and then automatically start downloading all the data files. Okay, so without having a four pass system, you can welcome to use this um, app or download the app on your phone. Uh, you'll see on our website on the mobile, if you actually open up a website on your, your phone or your mobile device for that matter, you'll be able to download it straight from our website onto your phone without having to go and download it and do all the other steps. Okay, all right, so that's all been done now. Uh, also in important to look at the version. This is version currently 24.1 on my screen. Um, there is some changes that we're busy doing on a daily basis, um, and then that will be updated as much as the four pass back office system will be done. So once the, the data has been uploaded, I can just simply click on uh, Start uh, Sales and I can now go and search and in my database I will have hundreds and hundreds of little products. Okay, so again if I want to go and search for something specific I can go and type in um, four pods or whatever the description is that you want and it will list all your products that you have on there. Alright, so let's say for instance I want to pick that item I can search again and I can go and pick something else. Um, not sure if I've got any plugs, no. Um, let's just say pizza, whatever. Obviously this is not for a takeaway, but just to uh, give you an idea of, uh, of functionality. Um, so what we've done also now on the recent uh, app, uh, on the search screen, if you type in there uh, ABC, all right, and you press a little star button there, it will allow you to get out of that screen automatically uh, and go back. In other words, you went into search by accident kind of thing, okay? So for now, let's just bring up an extra Coca-Cola 
Uh, now, again, all of these products are already sitting on my four-part system. That's where the, the products came from. I can't use the app to go and create my database. Uh, we will possibly look at another app to help you to create databases easier uh, in the near future. But for now, it's just, as I say, a simple app uh, that allows you to do sales without power. At this point in time, in other words, uh, this app doesn't need internet. There's no internet uh, requirements for me to be able to sell so even your internet goes down your power has gone down everything you can still sell I can obviously scan as well um, and again it asked me to allow obviously this will only be a once-off okay so let's just scan my famous packet of cigarettes and let me scan a barcode of the uh, sorry the, the little uh, lighter that I have um, now again, I, as you saw, I, I turned this, the barcode around. Um, there's no reason why you need to do it. A scanner will pick up the barcode irrespective of in which direction it's lying. So whether the box is upside down or whatever else, it will still scan it. So once I'm finished with my, my transaction, I can simply click on tender and the amount comes to 1,341 Rand. We've put some shortcut keys at the top there to make it easier for quick and fast sales. Um, and also, you can now go and type in argument sake the customer is giving you 1,500 Rand. Okay, shows the change amount, and I can now go and say cash. Okay, and I can go and do a receipt. And the receipt is uh, obviously only available if you have a Bluetooth printer. So if you can still use the app without the printer. You don't need a printer to be able to do business. Okay, uh, so if you do have the app, you can go and click on print. And it wants it to uh, then pick up any device and so on. It, you can just simply click on connect and print the, the receipt for the customer. Now, in this case, let's assume again that you're running the app in a store. You don't have a Bluetooth printer. You have a cash drawer or you have a little metal box for that matter. I mean, this is emergency stuff. This is not normal business. Okay, We don't have power. We need to be able to do business. You can use your existing cash drawer with a key and just open up your drawer and put your money in. So that will allow you to actually do business and help your customers and that's the important part. So as I say, up to this point in time, there's nothing required in terms of power. There's no internet required. The system is totally on its own. Some other functions just on here, I'll go through the add on to this video. I'll add on the, the four pass back office part of it. So that you can just understand how that logic works all right so uh, in here if i go in my little menu on the top right hand side i can go and reload the data again i can say show me all the invoices that i've got on the app at the moment and if you click click on little eyeglass over there it'll show you the invoice with the, the details on it and again you can do a reprint on there as well if i go back back to my menu again um, I can do upload invoices again. In other words, now the power is back, your internet is back, you've enabled 3G or 4G or 5G or uh, some other G. Um, then you can just carry on and upload it and download it on the 4 pass side. All right. Um, if you want to just have a look at the sales summary, what turnover you've done for today, that's the total amount of turnover that you've got. Number of cash invoices, card invoices, EFTs. We're adding account sales on here as well now. So you can monitor your account sales okay um, and then of course you can also go and clear the sales so once you've uploaded now four pass will automatically go and control all the invoices and clearing it off the system but let's assume for the moment that you're just playing you just want to clear it then uh, you can do that as well um, in terms of the the app i think it's a it's a lifesaver for many businesses um, for 99 Rand a month that you can subscribe on, it's all available on the website. I, I can't imagine that anybody wants to uh, take a chance and do business without it. Um, I hope you see it the same way. But if you have something positive to add on to us and say, what about this, what about that, we'll gladly look at that. Thank you. So as promised, here's the back office part of the same app, in other words. So if I go to stock, create, edit, uh, main stock by detail, obviously all my products are there. Uh, the same products will be listed on the app itself uh, with the same prices and so on. Just for this point of sale channel, for those that don't know, you can put seven different prices in per product. But on the app, we're only going to be running on the one 
price system in other words just a point of sale because again it's emergency stuff we just want to be able to sell a product to a customer okay um, then in terms of uh, how do you get the items to the cloud so you can download it um, under stock take we have an option that says export for Android obviously that will change to Android and uh, whatever and when you then upload um, and say export it will then upload all the information to the cloud okay it's our cloud that's part of the reason why you're paying the 99 rand subscription fee um, so you're not really paying for the app you're paying for us to be pay for a server to store your all your information on and uh, allow you to use it okay so that will be the app number oh, sorry the voucher number that you'll add or enter on the app as well now, if you haven't registered yet, in other words, you haven't subscribed for the 99 Rand, you can still use the system as is. As I said earlier, it will load the first 20 items, the first 20 uh, customers for you. If you've subscribed, all the items will appear and all the customer information as well. Um, and then lastly, when you uh, start using the system, you've subscribed and so on under utilities, uh, we will have an option that says import the invoices from the cloud all right and that will then update your, your stock uh, as well as uh, your turnovers and everything from the from the app um, and it will be part of your day end turnovers and uh, day end reports as well okay so it's a complete system from start to finish how to get the information to the cloud from the cloud to your app um, and then vice versa uh, you know uploading the invoices from the app to the cloud and back again into four pass so uh, as i said earlier even if you were running this on a remote basis where the laptop or whatever you're running at home or wherever your home office might be is you'd be able to uh, you know run in the store run the system um, with the apps uh, you know use your cash drawer with a key uh, do sales and then just upload uh, the the data once the power is on or alternatively once you've got internet connection there um, and then be able to do update it here so effectively it gives you the ability to do um, sales at a store level uh, that it gets automatically updated to your home office and that again that home office might be your head office it might be a branch it might be anywhere uh, it doesn't matter where this is as long as there's internet so it also gives you the ability to view all sales and turnovers and everything else without having to log in remotely with and spend the money on a, a full point of sale system at the store level and so forth so there's a lot of benefits i hope you can see the options welcome to ask us more about that hope you enjoy